three, two, and one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69. Just to get it out of your heads. I know you're all thinking that. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft, episode 69. <laughs> Today in How To Minecraft, we are going to be doing something that we prepped for last episode, and oh man, am I excited and am I also nervous. This is like the big the big noise right here. This is the big noise, and uh, this is huge. We're going to be bringing back Bob Jr. the third from his humble little abode inside of the, uh, what do you call them, mob dungeons, I guess? Oh, I just realized we don't even have shield on. Why was I doing that? Oh dear. <laughs> and you're just joined the game. All right, well, we're going to be bringing Bob Jr. back from that location to the uh, the vaults. Now, I do want to go over a couple things right before we do this. Number one, this video will probably not include much else aside from this because I do actually have to leave within about an hour to go to Santa Monica, which takes a very long time because I woke up late and... Uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of in a rush, but uh, I will try and get this video out anyway, including the UHC for today, but regardless, let's stay on topic. I do want to go over a couple things real quick. First off, I'm going to the vault because I want to do the, um, uh, the what's you call it, getting the home position set so we can actually lock him in the cage, um, without, you know, potentially hurting him or whatever, and I did just remember to take my, uh, thorns boots off before I, what the fudge is this? Oh, well, this is cool. I hope this stays like this forever. A little stone there. <laughs> uh, I will remember to take my thorns boots off as well, which also means I'm going to be getting rid of the jump boost, too. Uh, that's kind of bad. Anyway, so we're going to go down here. This is the location of where we're going to try and bring Bob Jr. down into. Um, I was told by someone that apparently Bob Jr. can glitch through the glass, but I think they're deleted their comment because I don't think it's really possible for Bob to glitch through the floor. Um, so I don't really think we have to worry about him glitching through this. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's possible. Um, at least I wouldn't assume that mobs can glitch through glass floors when they're just standing on top of it. So basically, we're, what we're gonna do is uh, right now, right now, we're right here. We're going to set our home right here. It's not on the tree anymore. God, God will and God forbid, it's not on the tree. We're gonna set our home here, and this way, when Bob Jr. is right in here, we're gonna go to home, and bam. We're already there. We're going to warp to it, and then we're immediately going to place the sea lanterns down right there, and then we're immediately going to place the jungle fences on top of it, and he'll be trapped forever. At least that's how I hope it will go down, and if not, we'll probably have to do some very uh, some very tricky things. So this is how we're hoping that this will go. Um, I think it'll go fantastic. In terms of uh, getting, the pers getting Bob actually, the person, getting Bob actually over to the location, um, I think we'll be fine. People were saying that Bob Jr. can't go through spawn, considering it's no PV or no mob spawning. Now, to my knowledge, this means that no mobs will spawn there. However, not. However, mobs can go through spawn, but we're not going to try this. We're going to bring him around spawn, um, so you know he has no chance of getting hurt or somehow vanishing. Because I don't know what Vac has done in this. Maybe he changed it to where mobs will actually vanish if they get close to spawn. I doubt it, but uh, let's actually see right here. So this this little creeper. Oh, Jesus. Thank God I have a one-shot axe. So let's actually just uh, check this real quick to make sure what is spawn and what isn't. So that, this is not spawn. This is not spawn. So that's not spawn. Um, I believe that is not spawn either. If we bring him around through the wheat fields, I believe in the wheat fields, that's not spawn either. Let me actually check here. Oh, did I lose some speed or something? Oh, no, I just wasn't uh, sprinting anymore. So this right here, this is not spawn. This is not spawn either. Okay, good. Um, the wheat field, I believe. Yeah, it's not spawn either. Blech, take your wheat. Oh, God, I'm ruining it. Actually, that'll make it look better. So we're going to bring him around this way and into here. And I believe that will be good. Okay, so we're going to go get Bob. Um, the actual thing is here. We're going to wait until... Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Are you actually serious with me right now? Are you actually kidding me right now? This is not even scripted. What the fudge? Look at this. I was going to get Bob Jr. And right when I was going to go get him, there's another Bob Jr. The third. He's literally right here in full gold armor. What? He's the fourth? No, the fourth would be... Uh, 
Actually, no, there is there is no Bob Jr. the fourth. Jane doesn't count, and Leather was, uh, what was him? Captain Grassman or something? Something along those lines. Look at this crap here. So now you have two? Well, no. I mean... Why did you kill him? Because he's an imposter. I kill all Bob Jr. imposters. We got his pants! Out of everything, we got his pants! We nearly broke them, too. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, by the time we get to the actual location... Kara's really sad right now. By the time we get to the actual location of uh, where Bob Jr. is, it will be daytime. So, we'll have pretty much all of day to bring Bob Jr. over to his location. Uh, I actually want to make sure that these mobs aren't here. Um, especially the skeletons. Honestly, the zombies okay. don't really phase me all that much, but the skeletons kind of do. Now, the thing is, Bob Jr. wasn't hurt when he spawned in. So, he's, he's basically at full health right now. At least... I might have punched him like one or twice, which means he could be at relatively low health, but that's not really a bother all that much. Um, we could have brought harming potions to heal him, but I didn't don't really find it necessary, considering we're not really going to go to any locations that are going to damage him. So we'll be fine. We will be fine. Um, so let's go ahead and see where he needs to be located at. So I'm pretty sure it was far over this direction yonder here. And uh, we'll have to bring him over these hills. Because baby zombies, like, they, they're pretty smart about not taking damage. Um, they run really fast. That's a thing. Which is going to be good because it'll make sure that this happens, you know, relatively quickly. Um, so, let's see. On these pants, we have thorns and jump two. So, we're actually going to get rid of those just so Bob Jr. can't get hurt in any way by hitting me. Um, I don't think that... Um, unarmed ability will have has like a built i don't think there's any mcmmo that has built-in thorns at least not to my knowledge and i'm really gonna pray that that's actually the case because if there's any built-in thorns in any of these mcmmo stuff we might be screwed like we we might we might be screwed so we gotta bring him over pretty much asap ferg and uh we have all of our locations he should be right over here where is he yes he's right over here and uh, we have to make sure that for any reason, if for whatever reason we have to punch him, which we won't have to, um, that we're going to do it with the Rotten Flesh rather than the Unarmed, so we don't deal like 50,000 bolts of damage to him and have him die like... Who who, who did Lachlan kill a season because of Unarmed? I think he killed like a Skellix or something. Anyway, so we got to check and see how fast we can actually jump up this. We can jump up this relatively fast, actually. In fact, yeah, yeah, we can jump up this fast enough. So, without further ado... Let's go ahead and, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually just get along with this. Oh god, I am nervous. If for whatever reason I feel way too nervous to do this, I'm just gonna slash spawn or something. Alright. Break him out. Bob Jr., come with me! Come with me. Oh god. Come with me, Bob! Do it. Bob Jr., come on, Jr. Come on, Jr. Let's go, Junior! Oh, dear God. Uh... Come on, Junior! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes! Here we go, here we go. Okay. We are transporting the Bob. This is really freaking intense right now. This is really intense. We're keeping a good distance because we don't want him to hit us. And we don't want to hit him for whatever reason. Oh, my God. Look at you, you little freaking cutie. Holy crap. All right. So, once we get up here, I actually need to uh, do one thing real fast. One thing real fast, and that is get the sea lanterns and the fences out, because we're going to need these to actually build. Alright. Come on, Bob. Come on, Junior. Come on, Junior. Come on up. Uh... Oh, stop being stupid. Here we go. I know you're not that stupid. Alright. Come here, Bob. Oh, no. Uh... Jesus. Come on, Bob. I know you got the brains in you. There you go. There's the brains. Alright. We are transporting the Bob Jr. the third over to our location, and I am really freaking anxious right now. I am actually so anxious. This better go well. Like, if this doesn't go well, I am going to cry, and I'm probably going to get so much hate, and the salt is going to be so real. So, you know, if you're watching this video late and you see a lot of salt on my channel, that spoiler alert, something went really, 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 really wrong. Whose host is that right there? That is Allie's. Uh, I don't know what episode he's on right now. I mean, I know he's come back to the series, at least, like, he's uploading a bit more frequently. But I haven't actually checked. I think he's on, like, maybe episode 20 or something? Maybe a bit further. I'm not actually sure. Alright, so now we got to transport Bob up the, uh, up the stairway. I don't know what on earth that is there, but I do know he... I do not want Bob to go in there. Alright, let's make sure this area is pretty much completely good to go. Uh, it, how long is it going to take... Oh, he actually climbs pretty fast. Alright, I want to avoid... Let's actually get, um... 
stone out in case we need to build over any areas like really really fast and uh, i don't think there should be any chances of him taking suffocation damage on the way there since you know it's natural terrain um I mean, it's custom terrain, but there shouldn't really be any chances of him, you know, taking that because it's all pretty flat. All right, come here, guy. You look so freaking cute! Ah, God! All right, bring him over. This is like the trek between that uh, Vic and I had with Bob Jr., um, the original, back in uh, Season 1. And by the way, if you guys didn't notice, Bob Jr.'s got some fancy pants on right now, so him repping that swag gear. All right. Actually, that's not swag. My apologies. That is class. That is class right there. The nice thing is, too, is because he's mini and because he's only one block tall, he's pretty good at, like, not falling down blocks or whatever. Although, I think that's just in the standard mob API. Um, all I know is, like, he's doing a fantastic job. And we're still at full health, which is good. Um, hello, Mr. Bunny. Now, if we bring him through... We're going to want to bring him through this direction. Actually, I see a hole over there. I don't know what that hole is, but I do not want to bring him through there. So, we're going to have him come down here and over the ice. In fact, yeah, we're going to have him come over the ice this way. All right, come here, Bob. Come here. Do not fall in. Do not fall in the ice. Do not fall in the ice. You're here. There you go. Come here, Bob. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. Come on. He, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Bob's can swim. He's all right. There you go. He swims rather fast, too, because he is pretty mini. All right. So you are not going to go through spawn because I, I feel like I'm transporting a little baby. Like, all zombies from now on are going to look this way. All right, you're going to come far over this way because i do not want you going anywhere near spawn for the fact that you might get vanished and i don't know if that's actually a thing i've never tested that with a mob but i am definitely not letting bob jr the third be the first all right come here guy let me sprint a little bit oh god oh jesus get away from me you demon <laughs> the little demon you're my little demon i guess that's what makes you a demon huh all right so you're gonna come over the swamp this way and we don't have to worry about him despawning oh, yeah, a little experience we don't have to worry about him despawning because he is, of course, um, wearing a name tag, so that's good. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I was a fool, and I haven't actually been through this way of uh, the swamp, so we might be putting him through a little bit of a risk. I think we'll be okay, though. Um, let's keep just have him travel this way right here. All of this should be relatively normal, if I do remember uh, when I've gone through this before. All right, Bob. You gotta go through this way. Be careful. Be careful, Bob. There you go. There you go. And now you're gonna come down. Don't get tripped up by the leaves. Don't get tripped up by the leaves. Alright. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Alright, never mind. No, no, he's not. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now you are gonna stay along the outer rim of this. Okay. And we're gonna bring you through... Oh, dear. This is gonna take a little while, isn't it? It's definitely gonna take a little while. Let's build a little outer edge right here. Alright, and around the tree here. Now let's actually build this so he doesn't accidentally fall in there. This is me being a good parent. This is me being a good parent. Alright, come here, Bob. I probably should have uh, gotten a fishing rod in case this sort of thing was to happen. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to take my time and have him actually travel through the uh, the water here just so he gets on top of the land. Alright, come here, Bob. Come here, Bob. If anybody ever sees this stone on the outer end, they'll know the stone was put here for a good purpose. Alright. Come here, Junior. I have faith in myself, you know what I mean? Like, I know Minecraft well enough to traverse carefully around this terrain. At least I'd like to say it to myself right about now. Okay. Junior's coming around. Come here, guy. Here we go, here we go. The big times, the big time, big time. Big times. Here we go, big times, big times. Big place. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. You're gonna come through this way. Come through. I, I'm glad he doesn't lose his aggro through these. I'm glad I lied. Alright. Come here. There we go. We don't want to put any chance of punching him for whatever reason. All right, we are back into safe and already sounded territory. All right. Now, the tricky part is going to actually be getting him underneath the staircase. I'm, that's the part I'm fearing the most. That is the part I'm fearing the most. Do we have home on tab? No, we don't have home on tab. Ooh, shoot. Um, what's up, little bunny? Little bunny wants to come with us. All right, let's go through here. And then this was the little hook that I said that you were going to go left at. Remember, Bob? Remember, Bob? You weren't there. You weren't there. You weren't there. Oh, Vic left the game. All right. Still got Matt as company. Matt's going to be our good luck charm. If this fails, blame Matt. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't. Please don't. God, no, please. All right. Let's go through here. And I think with this, we're pretty much done traversing him through the terrain. Where's he at? There he is. Come here, little trooper. Come here, little trooper. All right, now we got to get him down. 
Oh god, now we gotta get him downstairs. That's gonna be the difficult part. That's gonna be the really difficult part. Okay. Uh... Come on, guy. Come on over. Come on over. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, now you got a long swim. You have a long swim through this, which will give me time to think about what I need to do. Alright, beautiful. So we've gotten him here. This is like... This is, this is good. This is good. We've done it well. Okay, I have Depth Strider on, so I can chill for a little bit. Alright, so let's think about this. I have a stone here. I have the ice, if needed. Just kidding. Um... <sighs> Has the fancy pants. We can't let him die. He's the OG. How are we gonna do this? We need to get him. Thankfully enough, this took pretty much a full day to do, uh, which is good. That's very, very good. All right. I want you to come uh, over here. I want you to come over here. Okay. Sorry about the silence. I'm just taking a little bit of inventory right now. Just taking a little bit of inventory. Trying to figure out how to do this. I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to fall. Alright, Bob. And as soon as I do that... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm actually going to do something real quick. Oh, damn it. Well, I didn't actually... Oh, well, I did... Ah, freak. <laughs> I wanted to do, like, slash back. Or, uh, do slash home so I'd have it on, uh, command. Alright. I don't want him to actually come this way. So let's block this off. I want him to come from this direction over here. Yes. Come here, Bob. Come here, Bob. No, no, no. Come this way. This way. There we go. Uh... He's trying to get up on the up, up on the stone. He's being smart about this. Okay. I don't have thorns on any of my other armor. Good. And I don't think MCMO has built-in thorns into anything. All right. Come here, Bob. Here we go. The time of reckoning. The time of reckoning. Uh... Here, I heard him. Come on! Oh god! Oh god! Uh... Don't you do this to my soul! What is he doing? Uh... There we go! Oh gee, Jesus! Oh god! Lord Davy! Uh... Oh, Mary and Joseph! Mary and Joseph! Faster! Mary and Joseph, faster! Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. I'm gonna wait for him to walk this way. Oh, he's not walking away. No, we walked up! Bob! Oh! God! Oh! No! No, it didn't work! It didn't work! He's too fast! No, I have... Oh, yeah, it's actually true. Fair point. Thank you, thank you. I have another idea, I think. We're gonna set home here. We're gonna set the home here. I have an idea. Bob, I just need you to come here. Come here, Bob. Come on, Bob. There you go. Come here. Come down. Come down. Come down. I thought I was lagging for a second. Am I lagging? No, I'm not. This is not the time to lag. This would not be the time to lag at all. Come on, Bob. Uh, I really do have like another. Oh God! <laughs> Come on, Bob! Uh, Come down with your days! Come down with your days! Come on! I'm not gonna punch him! I'm not gonna punch him! I will wait! I will wait my patient time. There we go. Just to get the punches out. Just to get the punches out. Come on, Bob! Come on, Bob! There you go! There you go! There you go! Uh, okay. Uh... This was my plan. This was my plan. Now, we're gonna go from the outside and get him in. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? We're gonna go from the outside and we're gonna break this apart. We wanna get to an area where we're gonna be able to place... Oh god, alright. We wanna be able to trap him, like, from here. Alright, so... Will we be able to do that? I hope so. Okay. We have him, like, s trapped inside this area, which is good enough. It's, I knew this wasn't... I knew this was going to be really challenging. Okay. Alright, Bob. Come on, Bob. Bob, come over here. He'll be okay. I want to actually... 
barricade that up and barricade this up just so he doesn't glitch out for whatever reason. Come here, Bob. Come on. You see me? You see me? Uh... Don't fudge with my heart! Come on. Uh... There we go. There we go. <gasps> One, two. One, two. Yes! Yes, we did it! High five! Uh... Yes! 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Fudge sakes, am I happy. Alright, alright. I will get this, I will get fancy in this thing up, taken care of at another time. All I do know is that a rendered is finished, and Bob Jr. is trapped inside of here. Beautiful, we look down, and there he is, in his full, shining glory. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, beautiful. Alright, Bob Jr. the third is now located in there. I'll have to be careful about how I get him out, but I'm pretty sure he's trapped. And I'm pretty sure by breaking any blocks will be okay. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really dangerous endeavor. It paid off though, he's fine. Everything is absolutely beautiful. And just to make sure that for some reason, I don't know what people were saying, that he can't glitch in, or glitch through glass, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. He is good for right now. We'll get this fixed up at another time, and I'll catch you guys back. There's no time for dungeons. I gotta head out. We did what we needed to. Happy episode in 69, everybody. I'm wearing no pants. Take care, and I'll catch you back next time. Ciao!